What is going on guys, Blink here, back with a new guide. We'll be talking about potentially the new meta that will replace the double pump. I still think the double pump can still be used, but I'll be explaining it later in the video. Also, the V-Bucks giveaway is still going on, so make sure to visit the link in the description to enter. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as I post an Amazon gift card code in the comments every time I upload. By turning on notifications, you'll have a way better chance of getting here first and redeeming that code. Anyways guys, let's get this guide started. So, the tactical machine gun gets a buff, and the pump shotgun receives a nerf. The tactical SMG gets a damage increase from 14, 15, and 16 per shot, to 16, 17, and 18 per shot. They have also increased the magazine size from 30 to 35, and the firing rate has also been increased from 10 to 13. While on the other hand, Epic announced that they'll be doing a pump shotgun nerf. To sum it up, you won't be able to keep firing the pump back and forth. If you have two pump shotguns, you can shoot them both, but the next time you select them, you'll be forced to pump them before being able to fire again. This change will surely add a lot more strategy. What do you guys think? Will the tactical plus pump be the new meta? Because I think it most likely will. So, there are three rarity grades. Green which is common, blue which is rare, and purple which is epic. Now, should you pick up the purple over the green? And the simple answer is yes you should. Reason being is because the damage and the reload time are a little higher and better on the purple. And this can make a difference to the impact you do on other players. So, let's get into the stats. The green will do 16 damage to the body and 40 to the head with a reload time of 2.47. Seconds. The blue will do 17 damage to the body and 42 to the head with a reload time of 2.3 seconds and the purple will do 18 damage to the body, 45 to the head with a reload time of 2.2 seconds and they all have the same firing rate. So how should you play with the TAC SMG and the pump combo? If you're up against another opponent and you get close, you're going to want to pull out the shotgun first to do most of the damage. Then the TAC SMG will come into play for the spray down. Now if you miss that first initial shotgun shot, you won't have another chance to retry. You're going to have to use the SMG for the rest of the fight and it will probably take you about two magazines to kill the player but there is one thing you can do which is build yourself cover after the miss so say you miss that first initial shotgun shot you want to build yourself cover to allow you time to repump the shotgun and try again i'm gonna be honest with you guys there's gonna be a lot more longer fights with a lot more building involved which is gonna be interesting now the most comfortable distance of using that tack smg will be at a medium distance but you will need to use it close since the pump comes first now you can harass your enemy at a medium distance too if you get enough damage done, one pump shot might be the last bit of damage you need to do. So, the TAC SMG is the most comfortable when shot at a medium distance because there is a minimum amount of mouse adjustment that is needed to be done. While shooting close, there is a lot more mouse tracking involved. So, if you have a chance to shoot an enemy at a medium distance, then do it because you'll most likely remove all his shield and some health. Then the pump may become the finisher. So, guess what's really, really important? The headshot damage. The headshot damage will be the difference maker up against another TAC SMG player. You got to hit those headshots and it's not going to be easy. So what can you do about it? Well, practice. Anything you do, you got to practice and over time you will improve, especially because this is a new meta and it'll be popular among so many players. The ones who practice using the TAC SMG will improve the most. So a tip is to practice aiming just above the chest because you'll have a better chance of hitting the enemy in the head. And if you don't hit the head, you'll most likely hit the chest. Now, if you focus strictly on head level, you might have a chance to do more damage to the head, but you'll most likely miss the rest of your shots. So the only time you want to focus strictly on the head is if you've gotten really good above chest level. Then you can move strictly to the head. Remember guys, this will take lots and lots of practice. Now, the loadouts you'll most likely see is an AR, TAC SMG, pump, bolt action sniper, and a mini shield. If you don't have a bolt action sniper, you can actually kind of run the double pump strat by having two pumps, a TAC SMG, and a burst rifle. Pulling out the pump first, then spraying down the enemy with the SMG. And then the next enemy, you can pull out the second pump, and yeah, you won't have any SMG ammo, so you'll pull out your burst for the spray down. This pump plus burst strat is actually being used by many many players. By including the pump plus the burst strat, this will allow you to basically run a double pump setup with a little more tracking involved. Now, another thing you might be able to pull off is two TAC SMGs and one pump, but I'm not sure how that will work out because the TAC SMG is already hard enough to track enemies at closer ranges. So, two of them might be a little too insane, but you never know. It might be a really common strat depending on when you watch this video, and maybe I'll figure out a good way to utilize it in the future. But to be honest guys, the double pump plus the one burst and the one tack will be the more consistent loadout if you want to run a double weapon strat. 
Alright guys, this concludes the guide. Hopefully this meta can open up new strategies into your playstyles, but the double pump will still have a place in my heart. And as I explained, the burst plus the SMG strat can allow you to utilize double pumping in a way. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the pump nerf and the TAC SMG meta, as I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this guide. A sub and a like would be appreciated, and I'll see you on the next one.